What is up? What is up? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm in there. <laughs> I'll leave that in there. What is up? What is up? Welcome to episode 131, episode 31 of season 2. Yep, yep. And this is the Degrees Couch Chronicles. I know I noticed we've been uh, gaining a lot of new followers from different places. Someone found out, found us from our Overwatch take. Really? Yeah, so I thought that was very interesting. So, yeah, welcome to our new uh, listeners, viewers, all that. There are people who, I guess, only watch on YouTube because they saw the Overwatch joint. And there are people who only listen from um, being old fans from back in the day when we didn't have any videos. YouTube is new, by the way, so if you notice, like, oh, and if you just kind of look a little slow, uh, small, it's because we really, honestly, just started YouTube less than a year ago, so, yeah, we know that, time. well, welcome, welcome, and shout out to you guys, you know? Yes, guys, um, for our guys on YouTube, want to feast your eyes. <laughs> feast, like, eat that shit up. <laughs> Use your eyes and get this information out. We want you to feast your eyes on the products that we have in front of you. Shop Glow Nude. Visit us on our website at www.glownudeshop.com. No, I'm gonna lie. Or you can, or you can follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. 100% organic products formulated for your skin. And yeah, if you have hyperpigmentation or any discoloration, just follow us on our Instagram, and our link is in the description. Yeah, shout out to that. Yeah. Also, guys, can't start a pod without letting you guys know that we will be having a party on October 29th. The flyer will be somewhere here. Make sure you come out in your costume. The entry is $10. It will be at the Skate Trap in North Plainfield. So, again, make sure you get your costumes. Free food, free drinks, free candy, free samples, free surprises, on your fucking head tops. Like, <laughs> yeah, guys. So make sure you come out, get your costumes. October Bad 29th. One on, your end, on your head top. Yep. October 29th. October 29th. October 29th. Live DJ, by the way. If you guys want to know what's going on with the music. Live Go DJ. To the vibe. Obviously. Yeah. Um, let's get started. What we got on the dot today? Dot, dot, dot today. Alright. Um, let's, yeah, let's start this way. <laughs> What are your relationships? Oh, is your, is your phone active right now? I don't know. I just clock it. I remember we used to say that. I remember we used to say that back in the day. Um, what are your relationship core values and how important is it to you? Yes. Um. So I was thinking about how back in the day, I used to think people were kind of superficial for saying, oh, uh, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't work out if I work out. I just thought that was kind of silly. Like, why why would you feel so strongly about that? Until I started working out. But more importantly, like, as you grow, you're going to want different things. So now I'm kind of thinking about there's a lot of things in a relationship that I'm not going to compromise for. You know what I'm saying? I feel like working out and... I know this might be a, a huge like stretch, but uh, God, like I don't think that I can be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't have the same beliefs that's as that's I that's do that's or the same healthy lifestyle that I live. Like I don't want you to complain when I when I want to fucking go to the gym. Furthermore, I don't I want you to complain yeah. when I'm eating something healthy. Don't question why I'm eating something healthy, you weirdo. I agree. Um. I feel like there's certain things that you, for a fact, won't go back on. Like, oh, this is it. I will not stand. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Stick to that. Um, mm, makes, makes me think. You know what? Well, I won't go back on. Um, there's certain things I in my life that I've been doing for a while that I guess I would. Some would want to change, but I don't want to change it because I feel like it's so. It's like a part of who I am. And, I'm talking about weed smoking. Um, yeah, I feel like you have an issue with me smoking weed, especially since I've been smoking weed for so long. That too. That yeah. too. That I mean, a lot, a lot of people might have a pushback on this. And yes. I don't care, but I feel like if it's obviously come to be who you know me as, a lot of people know me as, or you know what I mean, whatever the case may be. Right. I feel like. I don't know, I feel like you shouldn't be like, I should change this, you know what I mean? Right, especially if you met me in the situation. Yeah. I feel like weed is not fucking cigarettes, so 
I don't think there should be an issue. Uh, I was in a relationship with somebody that didn't necessarily like like the weed smoking, and I never used to understand why I used to be so fucking annoyed. Like I don't get it. Like I'm chilling. I'm doing something that helps me vibe out, chill yeah, out. Like, like, why is that a problem for you? Like you, do you want to see me the other way? Do you want to be someone who? Is my weed? <laughs> that's that's kind of that's kind of weird. Right. You know what I mean? Not so, only that, not only that. It's a lot on you. It's putting a lot on you as a person. You know yeah. I mean? so. Not only that, I feel like the most I can compromise with that is not smoking you around. Yeah. That's it. I'm not giving it up. Like <laughs> <laughs> for real. Like I think it's fair. Like I'm at a point right now where I don't give a fuck how it seems or how it sounds. Weed is essential in my day to day, bro. Yeah. Like. It's a part of it. It's a it's a it's a, it's a herb. It's a herb just like all the other shit, like ashwagandha, green tea. You yeah. know all the extra shit. It's just it's the same. It might enhance your mood a little bit. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. It's essential for my day to day, and I feel like if somebody were to ask me to compromise, that I would not be with it. It's, like I said, yeah. the most I could do is not do it around you. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, it's not much I would really. Say the cool. I mean, we always talk about the five elements. You know what I mean? Earth, water, fire, sun, <laughs> communication. You know what I mean? Yeah. Honesty, life, all that stuff. Loyalty. But um, core. I feel like those are the core. But like, that was a non-core. But like, for, for me, I guess it would be a core. But I am laid back. I guess you know what I mean. Don't be trying to wild out because I'm, I'm gonna get laid back. I don't like like. I don't be trying to cause a scene, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's a negative. Yeah, so I'll let a certain, a certain things fly, but I'm really like chilling laid back for the most part. So, if you're someone I notice that you want to always cause a situation, argument, or whatever, yeah, it's not going to work for me. So, you know what I mean? I understand when no argument's necessary or like we need to have certain discussions, but if you're really up here or trying to like start something just for the scene or just to get a rise out of me from someone who don't typically wild out that's a sick bag still to try to purposely try to get a rise out of somebody like because i'm a wild out now you want to see me wild out now you're a lunatic yeah you lost it mate um i like that keep going on we got growing pains is that childhood again nah growing pains um i was just thinking about how how much closer we're getting to like us in general to our 30s Oh, and hell no. I, f- <laughs> I feel like we not as bouncy as we used to be, you feel me? At, like, we're getting there. I don't know about for the niggas who don't work out. I work out. I feel like I'm still bouncy. Um, I can't relate. But, <laughs> yeah, but what, what I'm talking about yeah, is... I'm in the same boat. I work, out, I work out, too. As we get older, I'm realizing that with a lot of people, the metabolism... The, the like, you know, you're, you're fatigued, you feel a lot more. And what I want to focus on, especially from my end, bringing to you guys on the podcast is uh, how much important health and wellness is in your day to day. Um, not to like shame anybody, but shit is really important. As for people in our generation, as we get older, we got to focus more on being active, even if it's just for a little bit, yo. Know, walking yeah. um i know it's getting colder outside May- maybe subscribe to a membership and i know if a lot of people can't maybe you can't afford a membership a lot of gyms do free passes so maybe you can print out a free pass go here and there you know double down print two one month two month three month yeah you know? yeah just That's use That's as many emails as you can you know there's always ways to get around certain things yeah, yeah. i am a cheapskate i don't give a fuck what anybody says i'm <laughs> frugal a lot of the time so I subscribe to free memberships as well, although I do have a gym that I used to go to, but when I wasn't able to afford a gym membership, I used to just go for free trials, and there's nothing wrong with that. Take yeah, advantage. It's live. there for a reason. Yeah, how you live. Yeah. But, um, growing pens. Growing pens, you said? Yeah, and for me, I work, um, a job that's kind of a little extensive as far as hours, and it's like overnight, so I'm tired a lot, and I realized that I'm getting like back pains, <laughs> like fucking, you know. So stretching is important for the niggas that work out. Stretch, yo, because you will be hunched and fucked up. Like do a lot of joint workouts, like wrist, do a lot of wrist stuff. Because I, you know, I, mean, I fall victim to not doing this as well. And 
you know, getting older, things aren't as what they used to be. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. focus a lot on, like, stretching out certain joints, you know, I mean, certain ligaments and stuff. So, that helps you a lot. Um, yeah, calisthenics. The earlier you get started on calisthenics, the better it is growing into your muscular yeah. ultimate self. So, your body is an engine. Use it. Like, facts, mate. Um, I thought you were going somewhere else with that, but... I mean, we can go a lot of ways with growing pains. I was just mainly focused on, yeah, like... I thought it was a different way. You thought it was about... <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was about, like, how... Where, what, what did you think I was going to talk about? Like, growing pain. Enlightened. Growing up with pain. You know what I mean? What do you mean, girl? I feel like we've traumatized the pot a little bit too much. We're no, gonna, no, 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 no. I'm super glad that that's not what you wanted oh, to do. Oh, no, no. I didn't right? want to, like, bring it down as Because I far. definitely thought that's where it was going. Yeah, I feel I like, like we've, been, we've been, like, you know. You go slap. Well, no. <laughs> we've, been, we've been exercising a lot of pain on this episode, on these past few episodes. Nah, I just had to give you guys a we're break, not, you know. We're not going to do that today. Not today. We're definitely not going to do that today. We're just uh, I'm super glad we don't have to report rest in pieces. It has been a, yeah, a shout very out to that. break full time. And of course, rest in peace, uh, PNB Rocking. You know? Still. Oh, still. Shout out to no no RIPs this time. Okay. And if there is was an RIP that we were not aware of, uh, shout out, um, rest in peace to that. Like, I don't know, but yeah. Off the wall, um, I saw a situation that brewed up in Jamaica about oh. a guy dipping, <laughs> oh, bro, dipping uh, his nether regions. <laughs> To a, drink, to a drink and then infecting somebody. somebody permanent STDs. Like, with that. That's um, not right. First of all, men, do not dip your nether regions <laughs> in people's belongings. I'm sorry. I thought that was like, <laughs> I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> I thought everybody knew not to do that. We're here to tell you in case you, you didn't know. <laughs> in case you were one that missed it. Don't put your dick in anything. That's that's oh for people in public. <laughs> for public. For public people. Wait. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. We're going to leave it at this. Don't dip your nether regions unconsensually. You know what yeah, That's weird. Yes. We're going on. <laughs> Unless it's consensual, don't dip. Mm-hmm. That goes for everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that goes for everything. Yeah, I feel like, and it kind of goes without saying. You yeah. Know? I feel like, <laughs> that <gets> said. <laughs> said we gotta say. <laughs> okay. okay. Um. Yeah, that was just a crazy situation. I got that information. I was like, I don't know where to go with this. Because <laughs> I feel like, what do we write this story? Crazy, crazy. It's nuts. Be careful, man. Yeah. Yo, if you're looking in your drink and so, <laughs> why is this bad? If, if there's a hair, <laughs> no way. <laughs> if there's a film flying, <laughs> a funny like, film. <laughs> this smells like wet crash. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. You know. Ooh. World come to you. I'm I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. Yeah, guys. It makes me not want to trust anything. <laughs> I don't even. And I'm already like mad on it, it makes it gives me anxiety because I have to feel like I'm looking over my shoulder too much. Everywhere, and I, everywhere, yeah, everywhere, and I don't like that. Everywhere you go, every breath you take. But all right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a break right here, guys. Uh, this is the beat by me and Jay Degrees. Enjoy. All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, get in contact. Usually what happens for any viewers, I play a beat. This is for YouTubers who don't see it or don't hear it or don't know what's going on when that happens. Play a beat, you can inquire about it or not or whatever, you know what I mean? It's really for, you know what I mean, the vibes. So yeah, um, let's keep it going with this, this docket of today. Yeah. When was the last time you screamed? I thought about doing this today because the rest is, <laughs> the rest didn't do it. Um, for me... Um, for me to raise my voice, like I said, I'm a very chill laid back dude. For me to raise my voice above a certain decibel, it really got something got to happen. Like, I don't want to pull that out until it's like, or I used to not want to pull it out 
Well, I used to, I guess, do it sometimes, I guess. Uh, but I don't want to, for now, I don't want to pull it out unless it's necessary. But I think the last time I was, like, at least, like, 22 or something, the last time I really just, like, like, remember, like, a, yo, like, you know, something crazy. I'm not talking about, like, screaming at somebody, but, like, screaming, because... For me personally, I just feel like no, I mean, scared, as human, no, 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 no. I feel like as human beings, we often need to decompress. So I'm saying, like, when was the last time you ever just screamed for no reason, like, just <laughs> no. for no reason? Never. I don't. I don't you know don't it. scream. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I. Um, I don't do those things. I was thinking about it the other day because okay. um, I feel like we kind of need to as human beings. Yeah. <laughs> so. I agree. But I feel like with screaming, you kind of can't do it without raising concerns. Yeah. <laughs> People in your surroundings. You're going to you park at a park and then <laughs> go in the middle of the tennis court. So, I'd be like, screaming no! at you. Because of how it would look or sound or both. And I can't even do it in the gym because it's like, it's gonna be like, bro. <laughs> Which one in the gym will be letting they me do. out though? I don't know. <laughs> they, they do. They don't get the memo. And I, and I tried to put it in my I'm head. I'm like, that's the case. I'm like, you don't get the memo. Because <laughs> for you to be like, yeah! like <laughs> we're not, no one around you is on that vibe, so I don't know. Some people yeah. be letting it all, letting, letting it all out. I would create so. that. A scream room where people could just go and just <laughs> scream. Like, oh. <laughs> just come here and scream. It'll be like $10 for like an hour. <laughs> Everybody going to be headphones, yo. Yeah. yeah, just come in there and just scream as loud as you want. Yeah, sounds like vibes. Still. Imagine you break up with somebody, how popular it would be on like Valentine's Day, the holidays. You may never know. You just pay $10 for an hour, go in a booth, and just scream. It's crazy. It's crazy. I gotta fix this sound. Oh wow! I almost never use this one. What's that? Play for y'all. Oh. <laughs> what? You do use that one. Yeah, I was like, I mean, almost never. Oh, though. Yeah. That's just a story. <laughs> it is a story, especially one of your stories. It's a lot of twists and turns. Do I have a story? I, feel like I, I did have did. a story. But I, it's like, I, damn, I have to wait until Thursday to tell it. So I had a forget. story, but I lost it, man. Damn. Yeah, I had well, a I'm gonna write it down next time. I'm write it down. Yeah, maybe we but, um, should. No, I did have a story. So I wanted to tell you guys about the time that um, I had my ex was having a party. So I went and you know somebody suggested, yeah, you're you're turning. I think he was turning like 21. Yeah, you're turning 21. Have 21 shots. So this guy drinks a lot of alcohol or whatever. So. At midnight, we're all singing happy birthday, and he up chucks, and because I'm standing right next to him, the vomit went in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, wow. Wow. It was so disgusting. That's so nasty. Somebody was like, yo, you should have rocked it. Punch that nigga right in his fucking face, man. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so gross, yo. I'll never forget that day. I had a story. I feel like it was such a crazy story. Like, <laughs> give me a few seconds to think about it real, real quick. Let me see. What was that story? <laughs> Damn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Next week, right? Next week. Let's not write it down. Yeah. I gotta write it down. Alright, given the era of social media, how do people still not know how to talk? Um, <laughs> the pandemic. I live in a long pandemic, honestly. Now, you can do that. The thing you do is, that now. Just the, thing, the, pandemic. <laughs> the thing is just that I feel like niggas go on Twitter. Niggas go on Instagram. Yeah. Niggas go on mad social media platform and just let to it diss people. rain. To this, yeah. You, yeah and you it's diss like, people. how is it in real life that you be like, uh, 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 like, nigga, <laughs> like, how do you still not know how to talk to people? And you be letting it rain on, like, social media. Yeah, they have a personal persona. Like I said, so much people don't spend your time here, like, in the real world. Even now, we're recording something in the <laughs> real world to go into the fake world. Crazy. So, but for us, we're really having this conversation, you know what I mean? So, like, this is really happening. It's just being recorded. So I feel like a lot of people don't have this a lot. 
It's like a lot of this, you know, a lot of neck cramps, you know what I mean? Like you just looking down on your phone constantly. That's a fair mind. I've seen somebody with a hunchback in real life. So it's like, it's remember our old librarian? Like, <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bad. Bro. Dang. Bro. Yeah, like careful. I said, you have to, like, you gotta decompress. Like, I try to spend a lot of my time, especially now. Yeah, maybe I'll somebody I'll notice I don't post as much stories as I use it. But, I'm good, um, bro. It's like I spend a lot more time now in this because I don't want to have neck problems, bro. Every second I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just cracking my own neck because like this shit feels Mad crazy. people gonna end up like, <laughs> like our whole generation almost. I'm telling you because we're just looking down and forget about Gen Z's. You know what I mean? Gen Z's generation. Yeah, yeah. Put your generation Gen Z like. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. crazy. So, you know what I mean? Do something about it. Because, yeah, like you said, they can't talk to people. It's going to be a lot more people in that. People, the people making decisions are going to be the people who don't know how to talk to people. Like, they're going to be the president. They're going to be, you know what I mean? The one executing stuff, laws. You know what I mean? So scary world, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, like I said, we didn't want to bring it here. But, you know what I mean? Shout go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Let's line it back up yeah, a little bit. Let out a little bit. All right, so we we I got up because it just made me uncomfortable. But the whole Kanye West and um, Nori situation, we gotta talk about it. Oh yeah. Um, um I didn't finish it, and from a, a lot of little snippets and little tidbits, I saw that he was being very racist towards Jews and all that stuff. Of course, you know, what I mean, I don't support racism or nothing. But um, I feel like we should stop. And like, who am I? You know, whatever. But I'm on my platform. You're listening to me on my platform, so I can say this. I think we should stop allowing people to just have their way. Because <laughs> this freedom of speech, like, there is that. But I feel like it's up to you to react. How about it? Like, if you feel like it's 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 important for you to not watch it, I feel like you have all that decision. And I feel like if, if it's you're someone who's like, yo, I'm just not watching nothing compared, like. If you want to decompress from Kanye West, I understand. That's all I'm really saying. Because, like, certain people are giving platforms, and it's just like, you're just doing whatever. Like, I'm like, Kanye West don't be checking his thoughts at the door, so. And people allow him to do that for, like, you know, he's by a boy or whatever, you know. I feel like, like, people allow Kanye West to get away with a lot of things, and I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not one of those people. And I'm not going to pretend, like, what he, what he does is amazing all the time. Like, that rant up there... From the first, I realized in the first 90 seconds, and you can ask her, I really just got up and left. Like, Kanye West is the type of person that, if you let him, he will make you think your own thoughts are insanity. <clears throat> I just feel like this, this is... Did you finish it? My bad. I mean, cut No, I didn't, I didn't finish it. This is how I feel when I, when okay, I come to Kanye West. Right? I just feel like people are a little bit confused because... They kind of want to hear what he has to say, which is why he still get interviews. But in a, at the same in the same breath, they kind of want to censor him. So I feel like you can't be on two sides of the fence when it comes to him. You kind of gotta. It's either you want to hear what he has to say yeah. or you don't. That's what I'm saying. Stop giving him interviews and then complain <laughs> at the fact that he's talking this crazy stuff. Yeah. Bro. And for me personally, <clears throat> and this is me personally, I feel like. When somebody goes crazy, there's a little bit of truth in that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not the one to say, oh, everything he's saying is true, da 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 He is talking mad, wild, reckless shit at the moment. But I feel like nobody just gets up and... and and, 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 and No, and, and listen, listen to this. I just feel like, given the position he's had, given the rooms he's been in, I feel like something somewhere in his situation is not right. And I don't know what the tipping point was, but it's either you guys want to hear what he has to say or you don't. So it's like yeah. you, you pick and choose your battles. No one's holding a gun to your brain and saying, yo, watch this or subscribe to this. Or do an interview. Like, come on. So Yeah, there's people <clears throat> who are like have think pieces about it and stuff. You know, yeah, it's I'm like, like I don't I didn't finish it, so I don't care and I didn't I don't know. I literally about, so. read the comments on it and there's niggas like literally writing like paragraph essays. Yeah, I'm like, you didn't even write this much yeah, when you was in school, my nigga. Like, yeah, like, like stop. 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 So yeah, <clears throat> let's go into the musica. Here we go. 
Um, no more leaks EP. That was fire. It was yeah, like five it's tracks. It's and I'm like, yo, nice little bite size Central C. I always, I I, yeah, I was just scrolling around to find it to talk about, it, and I found it, and I was like, it's nice. Like literally, like five tracks, and it's Central C. Like you know, giving you that UK drill vibes. You know, he's spitting like he's really spitting. So I feel like he dropped that just to say something important and it was just it was perfect. Yeah, I found out that him and Digga D is um, beefing. I fucked with Digga D, he fucks with Central C. So and I don't like beef, beef, man. I don't yeah. like beef. Quit that shit. But shout out to Central C and this new project called what? No More Leaks? No More Leaks EP. <clears throat> shout out to that. Check that, y'all. He's always fire. Check that, y'all, fam. Um, let's go into Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Lil Baby, it's only me. It has 23 tracks, right? It's fe- features on there. Apparently, a lot of people says it's fire. Um, For Lil Baby. It's Lil Baby. <laughs> so, alright, here's, here's the thing about Lil Baby. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not saying say anything negative, by the way. Um, alright. I'm used to Lil Baby being on throne and then. <laughs> what is that? I'm used to Lil Baby being, <laughs> being on a thong, right? Being on a song. <laughs> You gotta pause. You gotta take a second. Pause. Silly ass episode. I am sorry for all the audio listeners, visual listeners. Y'all already know the vibes. Why we're on this type of vibe. We we chill right. (laughs) You vaping a little bit. Like, we vibe. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? THC, by the way. THC, babe. So, right. I'm used to Little Baby being featured on track and killing it because he is a dope lyricist and he got bars, right? What I wasn't used to was. Baby on baby, like him going hard for 23 songs, period, and like kind of keeping that. Like, I get it, it's like it sounds for me, what I'm really trying to say is it sounds very like one plane, you know what I mean? And I kind of wish kind of did some twirls a little bit, yeah, which is not a bad take. It's little baby, it's fire, he's doing numbers, who the fuck am I, like I said, but I felt as if it wasn't really taking me in wild directions, pause, but um. I kind of wanted to, you know what I mean? I wanted, I wanted a different type of vibe. I wanted, I wanted some experimentation, you know. What I mean? Yeah. Um. Especially such a, uh, he's on his way to being a veteran. So. I don't know. I don't know about Lil Baby. I feel like he's very like monotone. Like. Yeah, that's what it was. Good, I feel you know? he's just more of a featured artist. I like him on other people's tracks. I don't know about a baby song, like a, a whole baby. And it sounds worked horribly. It was just Lil Baby, Baby on Baby, going hard. So. Mm-hmm. I feel like it should be like, whoa, whoa, I'm baby, and I'm, you know, I'm doing all types of crazy stuff, but it was like, baby, I'm baby. Not for me. Which is great, still, I guess, but to each his own. Lil Uzi Vert, just wanna rap. This shit is fire. It's Jersey Club from Lil Uzi Vert. It is a bop. Like, I feel like you can do that. Crazy. Yeah, I, I, I wanna hear more of this, like, a bunch of songs that sound like this. He's a wild card to me, like, it's, he's oh, man. different. <laughs> that very. was a vibe. That was a very much a vibe, well. Wow. Just something, yo. This song's fire. Honestly, it's is all it that gym, Is it Jim? Yes. We should do that. We should do that. Much, we need a DCC gym playlist. Yeah. yeah for, especially for you guys to check out. Yeah, so, we should make that. We should do that. Let's see what the vibe is for them. You know, Tune in next know. time. We'll have it. Yeah, you know we mess with you guys. Have you that. Yeah. It'll be songs for me and him, so we'll yeah. combine it and put it out there to you guys. For reals. Um, that's it, right? Yeah, it's been so nice. We got a party coming up. More details coming soon. Wait, this is yeah. Wow, it's by the by the next episode. It yeah. will be days away. So yeah, put the flyer in here, uh, Gen tuned. Z. Once again, sign them again and add tabs with that. Mm-hmm. Um, We're gonna keep saying it until yeah. Day. Subscribe on YouTube. Um, subscribe on Anchor. They pay us now. Um, chat Spotify as well. Um, yeah. yeah. You have nothing right. Nothing other than we have a party coming <laughs> and shot <laughs> Like, yeah, God. <laughs> <They're> like, okay. <laughs> guys, um, we're over ourselves. We're over everyone outside, but be safe out there, guys. Peace.